kertai tu kota atakai ko kara tekeri itta kara la ara te krei shukuru tekete itta kete i kara atakala ara to korot takita itta kiti iu kara itta kia taire tekeri itta saki ara ta koro o untara kari kara ta i na kota kere itta kuru takasi kata kita ushta kiti pipi kata itta koro ra ta 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 kili i rindoro to koro to koro ata te isanduro te kere itta ka fata ke inta itta to to ko itta kara ta kata kata li makro te kere si kiti ti na ta i koro o ta ki si koro to kata i tu ra te kili para itta koro o ra te kiti inta kere si Suku te 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 mai kuro ai tai tai shukuro takara takara te ki tai to sakura takara i ko mo kuro te kiri ishaka te ki te in takara i kuro oro kara te ki te in tai kuro to kara te kara i ra i takara takara li kara i ma kuro kuro te ki te um welcome to this light language transmission I'm getting um, a lot of energies through from Orion and also the blue avians and it's a very um, I just got a very funny picture because that's why I'm laughing and it's maybe not so funny for us um, being earthlings <laughs> or being on earth and I also heard a lot hunter hunter and it's somehow connected to Orion or the star a system um, of Orion because many of you have connections to Orion and they're saying this is the time for transformation and they showed me a picture of them pushing you through a portal or pushing you through um, a huge um, arch um, and many people don't want to go through <laughs> Many people hesitate because they don't know what is on the other end and they are preferring to sit in the dark and sit in glue. I hear something um, glues them to their past or I hear karma is um, lifted from you. Sakara ita kete ita kita into koro ota kete ita shokre illa kara ita koro ota kete insta ta 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 kar al. It has got to do with um. I hear a lot of, or I can feel a lot of masculine energy. Um. Maybe it's. I don't want to suppose, I just want to transmit. It's something to do with your masculine energy inside of you. Um, because um, for some of you, there's those two sides, the feminine and the masculine, are, are fighting each other sometimes or are not being harmonious. And this is holding you back from wanting to go through the portal. Um, just before I started, I had one 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 zero one one two. Um, so ones could be significant, or you see a lot of ones, or you are a life path number one, or um, you're supposed to be um, at the top number one for someone or um, for yourself. So the number one is very significant and. Orion energy is is all around you. I took a lot of them. I took to take it. It's you. Kuro tare te kiri itakara da karla karai makro ta kiri is. Some of you are um, <clears throat> holding back because of karma or because they think they have something to let go of, and I can see they are lifting um, the pain. They are lifting everything um, from you, but. Um, some of you are still holding tightly to karma or holding tightly to a certain limiting belief and they want you to know Thank 
kara uta kara ini ini di kara inda unda kara ti turu kara inda kara ti kiti uta kala kara ita kora ita kuru stu kara ita 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 kara sakara kulu inda induru ta kara a um horus energy is coming through too and you are being they are saying you are being you are being protected all around all over every time um at all times always protection is somehow surrounding you and i can also yes i um kiare ndele kere iyaso kare te kere itaka sho kore te kete itai dura te kere they are saying um we are holding back here on earth or a lot of um many people are holding back or can't move on because they keep or they have limiting beliefs they think that um earth is um what are you saying they're they're saying earth is not a beautiful place they're saying earth is um, people on earth are not loyal they are um fighting they are being mean they are being you know they are lying cheating um, I can I can feel a lot of negative energy um, sitting in heads inside of people. And this is the reason why these people can't. Um, they sort of wake up, but they can't move. It's as if they they knew. Here is the portal. It's right in front of me. I need to go through, and but I I keep holding back. Some something with holding back. Um, and it feels unsafe um, for these people. It feels unsafe to jump. Because the thing is, they say you need to trust in us. You need to connect with us because we are um, holding you. We are protecting you. We have been whispering into your ear. Um, you can trust us. Um, there's a lot of um, rose colored energy coming through and light blue energy coming through. I you can't see um i have pain in my eyes so i don't know if this is significant for someone but um or you might want to know or want to see or want to understand with your brains first before you jump but they say it's not <laughs> this way it's not how it works uh, it works through jumping first and while trusting that you will be caught that you will be lifted up that you will achieve and and have success and kiri in you will have to lose something that you might think you need or that you might think you love or it's about letting go something you hold too tight on to kera in takalikish and um they're saying kesandara takara ile kere ima kara ushura taka it's very difficult for a lot of you because you are holding back or you are holding in or holding onto things too tightly or onto ideas or how something needs to needs to be or needs to appear they say this is why it's not working this is why you can't move forward or this is why it needs so much energy from your part to change or to advance i hear you are on the verge of jumping or it's i can see someone on um, on a cliff and behind them is destruction is deceit um i can see a lot of karma and a lot of how do i see karma it's it's it just feels like karma or something very heavy or um pain and 
and past life cycles um, um, they're they are sort of trying to push you forward but um, they need your they need your um, um, what do you call that they need your not acceptance they need your um, okay for this okay um, they need your prayers and um, your trust is it, it's more than just okay and and asking them to do so it's about the trust you need to have in something higher or in your orion star families and brothers especially brothers star brothers are coming through um i hear the feminine energy already knows and the masculine energy is holding on tight they are i see someone using their whole muscle um strength to hold on to something it's you need to let go of everything you love and you need to let go of all whatever you everything you know it's about not knowing it's about just trusting and it's about listening to your insights and uh, they are showing me the bloodstream and the lymph system and everything that is flowing in the body blue aliens are also um they're very interesting because i can see some of them and they're all looking different some of them have heads like birds but just and they're very high up i can't see them they're surrounding you they are being very high up in the sky i can just see this you know the the, the a head that looks like a bird but it, they are changing as well and they are moving but at the same time they're staying where they are so <laughs> i can't really explain this and they they bring blue and and rose colored energies through and they will help you because they are here to not only protect you but also guide you through it they are um, helping you with releasing what you think you need to hold on to because um there's something coming through that we say here on earth we say let go and see if it comes back to you because everything that belongs to you comes back to you and just laugh because they are coming through and making my body <laughs> feel um, funny they say we are forced to push some of you through this portal and they they're showing me how they are doing it but they're not allowed to do it so they want to help you push you through the portal but they um and and i hear initiation some of you are of the verge of being initiated for i don't know um i can also see um some t this type of bird what's it called it's not an eagle it's um it has got to do with horus horus you know the eye of horus this bird I can see two of them and they're not facing each other they're no they are moving you need to do less I hear some of you need to do less and trust more do less um it's about um if you want to do more what you need to do more of is letting loose and it's also they're showing me the body that calms down that is like they're showing me someone running around uh, doing things being always busy and then they're showing me the same person um in a sleep state but it's more it feels more like a meditative state because this person is not sleeping 
I hear not snoring. I don't know why. Kiri itakeli kara kara takara ndagulu ure titi. Um, kiri itakara sakere ukore tete. You will travel. Some of you will travel in in new dimensions. Kerambara, and it has got to do with your sleep or when while you're sleeping. <sighs> Some of you are going through tower moments, like in Taro, you know, the tower moments, or when everything is crushing down. Maybe, maybe in your surroundings, something is crushing down, or I can also feel, um, you know, when cold wind um, catches you, but it's just for a second um, because it's very quiet and you you might have um, they are they want to say they come through sometimes through natural circumstances so <laughs> you might feel something moving your hair or just a light being coming through or you feel cold air suddenly inside of a room in which there's no air <laughs> possible in this way okay so i do rote ndarata karata karisi kiti kisu um ai tu ko te 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 kili ndakara ata kiti ta i tsukuru takere itakere takara ishtokoro taka you will be so happy they say you will be so happy this is something um this is is a transmission for people um or souls being on the verge of other dimensions and I don't feel it feels like dying but it's not about dying in the sense that we know here on earth you know it's not about leaving our bodies forever it's more um, letting go of the 3d everything that belongs to the 3d also letting go of especially the things we love most because it's difficult many of us are holding on too tightly to ideas um people animals um and also the animal realm came through um last time i think it was um and communicating saying let us do our work because we are souls too we have our life mission and life path too so please um trust that everything is right the way it is um we are being helped we are transforming um this is a time of huge transformation and this one 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 zero one one and sevens are also significant so the ones you need to something with number one serious is also um significant or dogs dogs are connected to serious and energy and also dolphins and your dog is with you or your dolphin is with you something like this um someone is working with dolphins i hear egyptian energy there's so much coming through like there are a lot of life um you know ancient lifetimes of your soul <laughs> coming up or circling back up I hear and lower vibrations need to be cut off or left behind or lovingly being put aside Mm. 
Some of you might have their ears ringing. Kintai sukuru tuku takata itakere laimbaro tokoro tokoro shikiti kiti intai ta 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 kala ara ara oro oro toko um what they're saying we should be thinking of flying like birds or something with birds is significant or blue avians or um beings from higher dimensions that are connected to birds or to angels in general because I can see a lot of them there there are many of them on earth at this time to push us through these portals it's I hear birth and rebirth and 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 being born again and dying and you know like this phoenix the phoenix raise, uh, rising out of their uh, its ashes and mm, phoenix is a bird too right something with a bird being born again so just know if it feels like dying it's a good thing because you are transforming they are showing that that's fun because they are showing me people being able to travel to other dimensions. Maybe they are not people. Maybe they are showing me beings that look like um, animals. I wanted to say look like humans traveling in orbs or you know those light bulbs. Kirim and they can travel to different dimensions. They are. A new earth or a new world or a new dimension is opening up in front of us, but we need to trust and let them pull, push us through this portal because something in us is holding us back or it's probably fear or it's something from a lower dimension trying to hold tightly onto something. We're scared of ourselves we are scared of <laughs> what we'll get and they're saying it's going to be amazing so whoever needed this today can they keep on saying you are being protected you are being protected trust you are being protected maybe someone is using this as a mantra you know i trust i believe i am protected I trust, I let go of everything that doesn't serve me anymore. I let go, I trust. I ask my angels and my guides and my star families to help me push through this portal or go through this portal. Lemuria is coming through as well. There are so many beings coming through at this time. Kiri Impala. Some of you are connected to Lemuria or this motherly energy. I can see huge skeletons. Huge. I don't know if this is connected to Lemuria or beings living on Earth or if they want to say we are much bigger and greater because the number one is showing up as well much greater and bigger and 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 much more powerful than we think we are even those who already know who they are it's limited they say limited limited <laughs> i know we are limited <laughs> Trust and believe, trust and believe, trust and believe. You are coming to the top. You are coming to the top um, of the mountain or the top of something or you know, number one is at the top, right? Never give up. <clears throat> Because they are saying everything that is holding us back is limiting beliefs and li something with limits. We put ourselves the limits. We are creating those limits. 
uh, it's no one else. Ain doro takere ete keli ma ain doro sokoro tokete itai koro takere i shakere i lekere i. I I can see someone balancing something out or balancing their body or keeping the balance somewhere as if someone was surfing you know and you try to keep the balance on the board um, they also show me people writing so maybe if you want to manifest write those manifestations down as if they were already here Hmm. Why are they showing me peas, green peas, or green peas is significant? Aindoro tegere itaka indokoro ustakete etekili iyambara itokoro. You are on the right path. So um, the main no. The main information is that you are being pushed through this portal, but you let them know that you're ready. Let them, or even if you're not ready, let them know that you want their help or that you you trust them or that you want this. Because they can only help if we ask them. This is very, very important. You ask and you trust and then you let go. It's also about people trying to um, contact them and be too much in their... Um, I wait now for it, you know, I I connected with my guides and now I'm waiting to hear something. This is <clears throat> creating this, it's, it's a, a, a form of holding back or expecting things is a form of holding on to an idea or <clears throat> limiting beliefs, they say. It's more about flow and trusting and, and um, you know, look, it's an energy of a child more. It's more like feeling, you know, a child. I can see a child saying, mommy, mommy, I want this. <laughs> I want this. You know, a child that keeps on saying, I, I wish to have this. I wish to have this and that. And, and, and um, the mother getting a headache because it's just not, you know, stopping. And I can see another child doing it right in saying, my deepest wish is this, and then letting it go. <laughs> and the mother trying to give this to, to her child or a, a dad, it can be a dad as well. I, I, I'm not sure. It's about wishing something, wanting something and letting it go and then going about your own life, you know, you keep on, on living in the flow. It's more, try to be more in the flow of your soul during this time, in the flow, okay? When you feel like doing something, you do it. When your intuition tells you something, you do it. You're more in the flow. You're not in your head. You're in the flow because it's not about... Um, it's not about comprehending or, or getting it right or understanding what it is. It's nothing to do with this. It's about the trust and the receiving and the seeing with other eyes. And they want to push you through this portal. We will be back. <laughs> they are saying they will be back and they... Um, Look at our evolution and they are extremely proud of us. And and we are safe. They, are, they keep on saying you are safe, you are protected, you are safe. Trust, you are safe. We are your protection. Feel safe in the... Why do I hear Nebbia? This is, I think it's Italian. In the fog. Feel safe in the fog. And they're saying in the natural fog, not the fog um, we are used to on Earth. You know, the fog that we create in um, doing drugs or 
smoking or not this fog the fog is 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 they're saying the fog is not knowing feel safe in not knowing and some of you need to use the orion or the the the, the stars that you see of orion some of you want to have this picture with them not many of you but some of you are, are connected to blue avians and you might want to learn more about blue avians but they say let it go learn more and then let it go they're showing me someone um, praying and doing meditation and it needs to be your thing they say if if it's what your soul is telling you to do you do it if it's your neighbor telling you to do it or someone else then you don't do it it's it's really you need to be your own self your number one just one 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 you know they, they keep on saying one number one or, or number ones are significant and rose colors and light blue colors might help you or are significant at this time. They they are leaving, but um, they are also they they left the information that um, the symbols you are using, or some of you are using symbols, and this is good. Um, if they are not re reversed, I hear. So check if your symbol, the symbol you are using, is um, sacred geometry and not fumbled or or not turned over or turn mm, something with. Um, just check the symbols you are using if they are depicting the truth something like that about the truth and let your guards down let your guards down everything will lighten up you will see that the sky lighten up or something you know blue sky or or light blue or rose colors maybe in the sky was the transmission I wish you a happy transition I wish ours you know all of us a happy transition and um, and a lot of trust in ourselves yeah and I'm sure I will be here again very very soon Love you. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>